tasted the blood of Austin. Austin is bleeding. And I liked it. That fully loaded Austin. I want a first blood match. I do accept that fully loaded. I will say to you, paybacks all the bitch. I've got something to say about that. This one way or another will be the end of an era. Austin, when The Undertaker defeats you, you will never again in your professional career ever even attempt to become champion again. If you are somehow victorious, neither you nor either any of these people will ever see Vince McMahon again. If you don't want to see Vince McMahon no more, give me a hell yeah. I won't accept your word for it. I want it in writing. And look at ah, the Undertaker with a horrendous cheap shot on the champion, Busty Mountain. Don't tell me the Undertaker is filling that gin with Austin's own blood. Undertaker, you want my blood? You son of a bitch, I want a piece of your ass. Somebody's got to go and go for good. The hell with business with Austin. It's personal. Somebody's going to bleed. Somebody's going to leave. It won't be the end of an era. It'll just be the end of you. And that's the bottom line. Pastor Cole said so. Match, Austin stood victorious. Triple H and The Rock crashed the party, but Stone Cold was able to fight off The Undertaker and walk out WWE Champion. Austin held on to the championship until SummerSlam, where he lost it to Mankind in a triple threat match. However, the very next night on Raw, Triple H would reign supreme. With Survivor Series approaching, Stone Cold was pitted in a triple threat match against Triple H and The Rock for the WWE Championship. Come here, you little bastard! But before the event with severe neck damage, and after undergoing surgery, he was out of action for over nine months. In his absence, Triple H and The Rock dominated the WWE Championship picture, while Austin was left with questions as to who was behind the vicious attacks. I will get my payback. And when I find the bastard that did this, I will take it out on your ass. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so. While Austin questioned other WWE superstars in search for answers, the truth finally came out. I did it. What? I did it for The Rock. During the No Holds Barred affair, Austin attempted to pay back Rikishi for his dastardly deeds. Rikishi is about to be broken! But the police intervened. Stone Cold would have to wait until the 2001 Royal Rumble to get his hands on Rikishi again. And with action at a fever pitch inside the ring, Austin's number was drawn. Here comes the rattlesnake! He's here! The Rumble raged on.